This is a lecture from Open Tuition. For the free lecture notes that go with this podcast, please visit opentuition.com. F7, Chapter 25, IS20, Government Grants. Government grants should be recognised only when there is reasonable assurance that any conditions, preconditions, to the receipt of the grant have been met and that therefore the grant will be received. If the grant is a revenue grant or an expenses grant, then the accrual's concept should apply. So the grant should either be shown as other income or it could be netted off the related expense. If, on the other hand, it's not expense-related, it's asset-related, then and again we can show it as deferred income, or net it off against the cost of the asset. And if the grant potentially has to be repaid, then we need to set, first of all, against the deferred income which has not yet been credited to the income statement, but then if the amount to be repaid is greater than the balance on the deferred income account, uh, then the excess needs to be expensed this year in the Statement of Income. Disclosure, the accounting policy, the nature and extent of grants recognised, and any unfulfilled conditions or contingencies relating to grants recognised. In the context of an F7 question, it could very well be a government grant appearing, for instance, in either question 2 as just a small paragraph, one adjustment to be made, or possibly in question 4 or 5, more likely in question 5, or just part of question 4. Uh, just a quick explanation of what they are, and maybe a very quick calculation to show how the government grant would appear in the financial statements, and the effect, therefore, on things like depreciation.